Hi YouTubers, it's Smokey, Smokey SC787. Um, thought I'd do another video today, just for the heck of it. Um, I want to talk a little bit about what the government's going to be doing to tobacco. As you know, I made a video um, on um, the pipe tobacco tax I might be going through. I said, well, you know, I really don't care. It affects cigarettes, you know, you know, smokeless tobacco, that kind of stuff. Because I don't use that kind of products. Um, well. Just to prove that I do care about the other forms, I do care about the other forms of tobacco, besides my favorites. Um, I'm making this video <clears throat> because some people took offense to when I said um, that I really didn't care about cigarettes or I really didn't care about you know that kind of stuff. Because yeah, I do care about all tobacco in general, even though I really don't consider cigarettes um, a real tobacco product like Kel does. So, anyway, um, we're going to talk about a little bit of what the future holds for tobacco. Um, just in the next couple of years. Um, as you know, um, I'm sure you all you've heard, and most of this affects cigarettes. So, I mean, this, this doesn't really affect pipe and cigar smokers. Most of this affects cigarettes. Um, this fall, uh, fall of 2011, um, all cigarettes in both the European U Union and the United States uh, will be fire safe. Uh, meaning they will have that nasty carpet glue, acetone, whatever, in them. You know, the United States already put that, that crap in the cigarettes, um, in, um, I believe it was 2010. But now the European Union is putting the uh, fire safe uh, compliant cigarettes uh, in fall of 2011. Again, doesn't affect us as pipe smokers, but I thought I would, I thought I would just um, uh, let people know about that. Um, secondly, um, in um, I believe it's September 22nd, 2012, uh, the FDA will, will be putting the new warning labels on cigarette packs. Uh, so, so basically, um, when you buy a pack of cigarettes like Marlboro, Camel, Dunhill, Newport, whatever, basic, uh, Salem's, whatever, um, instead of having a certain general's warning on its side, it will have, um, a graphic image of smoking. It will have, um, there's a picture of a guy with a tra tracheometry, tracheometry, um, the hole in the neck that says smoking is addictive, um, there's a picture of a, of a woman blowing smoke into a baby's face, saying, smoking can harm your children. There's a picture of a guy blowing smoke into a woman's face, saying, uh, smoking can cause fatal, fatal lung disease in non-smokers. So that'll take up 50% 50, 50 of the pack, and uh, it'll be a much more extreme picture. Um, so the United States is finally putting the new warning labels on cigarette packs. Um, It does not affect pipe tobacco tins, it does not affect cigar boxes or hookah tobacco, it only affects cigarette packs. So, um, so Reverend Brewer, uh, does not affect pipe tobacco tins or cigar boxes. Yet. Um, now, um, as some of you know, um, when you buy a tin, a tin of chewing tobacco, not chewing tobacco, dip or snooze or, you know, the gas station snooze or a bag of chewing tobacco, um, you get very large uh, warning label. That was passed back in 2010. So that's the new deal in the warning labels. Um, thirdly, as of 2013, so almost two years from now, um, all cigarette packs will look generic. Generic. Excuse me. Um, basically, it will still say Marlboro, Camel, Newport, Basic, Salem, Cools. But they're not allowed to put any pictures or any designs or anything that might appeal to underage smokers on the front. It'll be an entire generic pack, probably regulated by the government. Um, and uh, that's coming into effect in 2013. So, um, I think inside the cigarette pack, they'll still be able to put images. 
because if you buy the cigarette pack, then you're 18 or older or whatever the age is. So, but I think on the I know on the outside of the pack by 2013, no more um, graphics at all. It would just say Marlboro, Marlboro Gold, Marlboro Silver. Um, and finally, the last thing I wanted to bring up is um, as of 2013, probably also in my home state of Massachusetts, Massachusetts. I cannot pronounce that for the life of me. Massachusetts, uh, sorry. Um, and the 2013 Massachusetts, um, they will, um, be banning any store that sells health related products, uh, such as supermarkets and, um, pharmacies from selling tobacco. So, any kind of pharmacy, any kind of supermarket, starting in 2013, I believe, or probably 2013, will not be able to sell tobacco. Period. Right now, some supermarkets can sell tobacco, but, um, some certain kinds of tobacco, but, um, and, um, and then pharmacies can sell tobacco in some towns and cities, but, um, starting 2013, all that's about to change. So that's just a little update on the tobacco laws. Um, you know, just, I don't know. So, see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. And, yeah, give me your thoughts about these laws. If you're a cigarette smoker, I know, um, the Silent Puffer is a cigarette smoker slash pipe smoker. Uh, are these laws going to change? You know, what do you think about cigarettes? Peace out. Bye.